Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we are starting with the winner of the Portugal Pro, Andrea Presti. This guy won this show, and he was in a crazy condition, so the conditioning was spot on. He was rock hard, I gotta give him that. But other than that, a lot of weaknesses in this physique, so this guy is gonna go to the Mr. Olympia. And some of the other top guys who are much better than this guy won't be able to because they don't want to do a lower level pro show. This guy did it and he won it. So, if you talk about him uh, as a bodybuilder, like conditioning spot on, rock hard, for sure. But then you take a look at the legs, calves, they're not there, but who cares about the calves, let's be honest. The quads, the legs overall, not big, they definitely don't look downsized. The back was dry, but it doesn't have the deep separation, the details overall. Uh, it's big, it's dry, but, you know, it still lacks that depth. But it's a, it's a good back. I mean, his back poses are definitely much better than the front ones. A lot of vascularity to the back, the glutes were peeled. But you can see his delts are popping a little bit too strangely. The traps kind of as well, the arms. It seems like he has a lot of sight enhancement oil all, all over his physique. And that shows, you know, it's kind of visible, especially in the delts. So, again, conditioning was spot on, but the genetics of this guy, the structure, not that great. Not uh, Abs, abs were nice, but overall, like, smaller legs, a little bit smaller arms. Overall, you can see the oil in, in certain body parts. So, I mean, sure, he was the winner of this show, no doubt about that. I mean... The guy was big and he was peeled, but you can see here, right here in the delts and, and the arms and, you know, overall physique, it doesn't look very aesthetic. But I'm not saying that he didn't deserve the win, he deserved it, congratulations, he's gonna go to the Mr. Olympia, but I'm guessing he's gonna be one of the last places at, the, at that show. Still, amazing, he won a pro show and he's going to the Mr. Olympia, that's a huge achievement. Though if you prefer a little bit more of an aesthetic physique, then you would go with the second place finisher, Tim Budesheim. And this guy, yeah, he looks aesthetic, especially in these front poses, like uh, most muscular, all the variations of most muscular. But other than that, he had a lot of weaknesses, so he was conditioned. Yes, he was, but he wasn't as conditioned as Presti. So that's why he didn't win, and also there was something wrong with his back and doing this shot. Probably something similar that happened to Justin Rodriguez. As you can see, he wasn't able to spread the lats properly and the glutes were weird as well. And overall, like, his structure, I mean, it was good, but yeah, I can definitely see Presti winning. But this physique, I think he has more potential in the future. We'll see how well will he do in the future. Now he won the second spot. It was still pretty good. He was second at the California Pro two years ago, so I expected him to win this year. However, he didn't. Was he better, though, than the last time we saw him? I think he was a little bit better, but I think he was a little bit off. I think he didn't peak perfectly. I think he made some mistakes. If he did everything perfectly, he could have won this show easily. It seems like all of these guys in the top six were conditioned, were really dry and hard, but most of them weren't exactly genetically super blessed as far as the structure goes. In the Classic Physique division, we were actually able to see Wesley Wissers and we saw him do pretty well. So I think this was his best shape up to date. As you can see in this lineup, he stands out. I don't know if you can see it, I can definitely see it. I am noticing him first. He definitely does look the most classic, but you can see in some poses, like in this one, he does look a little bit blocky. So I don't think he deserved a victory here. He was third, right here you can see it. Blocky, blocky, the waist is a little bit too blocky. So you can see the guy in the middle right there, the shorter black guy, he won the show and uh, he deserved this victory, for sure. But I gotta say, Wesley's physique is the one that stood out the most. So he has the structure, the interesting structure, he does have a lot of, a lot of strengths. In the gym he looks like a Mr. Olympia winner, on the stage not so much. But there are some components that definitely do make his physique look very, very classic. And this edition of Wesley Wissers, I think it was the best up to date. I'm not really sure, I wasn't there, and this, uh, and this video is not exactly super high quality, but I think you can see it. You can see that his glutes were definitely dialed in, you can see that his chest was separated, you can see some hamstrings, the quads do look definitely way more separated and a little bit bigger, fuller, rounder. Those were his weaknesses before, so it seems like he worked on improving them, and he did improve them. So look at the side tricep as well, it looks much better than before. The back, the back too, it was weaker, now it looks pretty detailed, wide, 
Overall, look at these poses. These are very classic poses. So, I think Westy was a pleasant surprise at his show. Third place was, I think, deserved, but... I think he has the potential to be one of the top, top guys at some point. As the time goes on, he is getting better and better, and his placings are showing us that. Alright, so it's been a while since this happened, so Nathan the Ash of Physique update. If you guys follow Nathan on Instagram, you know that he went to Kuwait, and he's over there, he's training, he's prepping for a pro show that he wants to win and then to get to the Mr. Olympia stage. He's doing uh, Arnold Classic UK, I'm not sure which other shows he's gonna do, I'm sure he's gonna do another one in the, U in the US, and uh, he is actually a roommate with Brandon Curry right now. <laughs> they are in Kuwait, they are sharing the same, I think, the same apartment, I don't know, I, I heard him talk about this on a Fuad Abiyad's podcast, he said some other interesting things, I'm gonna tell you that in a moment, but this is him right now. He looks huge. Now, this mirror, yeah, it's a magic mirror. <laughs> it's a great lighting, and it's taken from an angle. I think this mirror is also widening up these bodybuilders, and Nathan is not exactly this wide. I don't think he's... Uh, uh, yeah, he's big, like, he's, he's one of the biggest guys, for sure. But uh, he has big delts, yes, but he's not, not exactly super wide to the shoulders. He's not as wide as, like, Big Ramy or Rolly Winkler. No, no, he's not that big. But uh, here he does look absolutely humongous. And, uh, you know, he was like 7th or 8th at the Mr. Olympia when the lineup was really tough. And he didn't really lose that many shows. He won a lot of shows. He's a great, great bodybuilder. I think people kind of forgot about him and underestimated him. So I think, uh, I don't know which show he's gonna do exactly, but whichever one he decides to do, I'm pretty sure he's gonna win it, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna get to that Mr. Olympia stage. Hopefully his prep is gonna go fine, well. As for now, he looks great, and he's gonna just get better, better with time. So he's gonna be one of the guys that probably is gonna challenge Ian Valier, who also updated us with his physique update, and this back, it doesn't look that weak anymore. It definitely was a weakness for Ian, ever since. It was his back, it was his chest. Does this back really look weak to you? I don't think so, as he says, not a weak point anymore. He definitely doesn't look like a weak point, I mean, look at this madness. It looks absolutely ridiculous, guys. So, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Ian Valier. But it's not only because I'm a fan of Fuad Abiyad's channel and podcast, no, not just because of Ian Valier's personality, no, it's his physique that really makes me go wow. And you watch him train in the gym, and you just look at him and he's humongous, like, there is no weak point. He, he's like, he doesn't have like a prolonged torso like some of the other guys like Nathan Diasha have, he doesn't have like small legs, small arms, not even small back anymore, chest is a little bit flat, but it's also getting better, and chest is a smaller body part, so like, he's improving, and he's, he has such a freak factor, and with those huge arms, and, and that great most muscular, he just looks like there is no stopping him, and the, the, the rate that he's improving at, that's also freaking amazing, so he has crazy genetics, he's really, really progressing at a fast rate, he has the structure, he has some weaknesses, but I'm sure he will improve them, and honestly guys, I wouldn't be too surprised if I saw him win the Mr. Olympia one day, I can see it at this point, before I didn't really see it, I thought his structure was not that good, but as the years go by and he looks so much better at every next show he does when he makes all the improvements in the offseason, why wouldn't he be able to become the best bodybuilder in the world at some point? And he's young, he's like 30, 31 at this point, so there is a long road ahead of him and I can definitely see him be one of the greatest, if not the greatest bodybuilder in the world. Yep, it's a bold statement, I know, but I can just, I can imagine it, I can envision it, I can see it, I don't see why not. If you guys disagree with me, Feel free to say so in the comment section down below. How about this guy, Hassan Mustafa? He has done the most shows this year. I don't think there is anybody who did so many shows in a year. This year, no. I think he did all of them and he was like third, I think at every show, third or second. And now he's saying he's gonna do Chicago Pro. He did a Q&A, so he said that he's gonna do Chicago Pro and that he's weighing 275. And also, that the next show after Chicago is gonna be Arnold Classic. So he's gonna take a break from competing, he's not gonna do all the shows this year, no. So it's gonna be Chicago Pro this next weekend, and then Arnold Classic. Can he win Chicago Pro? No, I don't think he can. I mean, if he somehow improves his conditioning so, so much, 
Maybe, maybe then, maybe he can beat Hunter Labrada and the other guys. But at this rate, I mean, he hasn't really been improving so much. He always brought bad conditioning. So Hunter is absolutely peeled at this point. I'm going to show that to you in a moment as well. So I don't think he can win the Chicago Pro. I think he's going to be like second or third again, unfortunately. And then at the, at the Arnolds, of course, he's not going to win the Arnolds. He's not going to qualify for the Mr. Olympia by doing that. He will have a lot of points from all the shows that he's done that he, and he's going to do. So I think we will see him at the Mr. Olympia stage. He probably has the most points. But uh, can he win any of the shows this year? <sighs> Most likely, no. Most likely, it's not gonna happen. There is so many shows left, and so many great, great bodybuilders who know how to bring conditioning. So, he can be, like, third, second, and so on, and he can get a lot of points and qualify for the Mr. Olympia like that, but to win a show this year, yeah, not very likely. And yeah, by the way, this is Hunter right now, and uh, as you can see, his glutes are shredded and hamstrings as well. It's still, it's still some work left to do, there is still a week, his peak week started, so he's probably depleted here, so the muscle is not really pushing the skin, uh, and he's not gonna post any more photos un until he gets to Atlanta, so as for now, he's in great condition, and I'm sure at the show he's gonna be absolutely uh, perfect, like, he's gonna peak perfect, I have no doubts about that, he's gonna be bigger, better, and conditioned, and I always had him as the winner of this show, but I have to change that prediction, I'm very sorry, Hunter, but it's official now, pretty official, uh, Rolly Winkler is actually doing Chicago Pro. So in that, in that story that he posted last week, he said, next week everybody will know. But he didn't say that he's gonna do Chicago Pro, he said everybody will know next week, maybe next week he would have told us which show he's gonna do, maybe he's gonna do another show. But now we know. I mean, his buddy from Kuwait, Nathan Diasha, spilled the beans on Vodabiat's podcast. He basically told us that Rolly is actually doing Chicago Pro. So take a look at this. Is he, you don't know what he, well, you probably can't announce what he's doing before, because is that the only show he's doing to qualify for the O, or is he doing something else first? Just, just next week. Next week? Yeah. So he is doing Chicago. Yeah, man. Should I should I cut that out? I don't think you're allowed to say say. Are you allowed to say that? Did he already announce it? Put it on his Insta on his Instagram. Oh, he did. Oh, did yeah, he? Yeah, I've seen this. Yeah, I only yeah. I only said it because it was on his Instagram yesterday, and then yeah. so it's Nathan's fault. I didn't say anything. So there you go. Rolly Winkler is doing Chicago Pro. I think this is amazing news. We will see Rolly. And also there was a question that Nathan received that Fuad asked him: uh, Is Rolly going to be something new that we haven't seen before? Is he going to be in the best conditioning of his life? Is it going to be like a new and improved package? And Nathan said yes, if he can maintain the conditioning. So he saw him uh, flat, you know, depleted from carbs, and he looked absolutely amazing, as, as Nathan says. You guys should watch the show to, to see everything, to hear everything. I don't want to post the whole show here. So Nathan said that the role is in amazing shape, and if he keeps that shape, if he doesn't mess it up, he's going to be basically... I think he's going to be unbeatable at the, at the Chicago, even if he's like 90%, because that's how good Rolly is. But if he's actually at his 100%, he can win Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia too. Yeah, I can see him winning the Mr. Olympia, no doubt. I mean, I'm sure you guys can see, can see that as well, because Rolly is that good. So Rolly is doing Chicago Pro, it's official now. I mean, he didn't say it, but Nathan, his buddy from Kuwait, told us. And now we know, it's, it's great news if you ask me. And we'll see, we'll see. That's going to be an interesting battle. Hunter Labrada versus uh, Rolly Winkler. And I don't think Hunter really has a chance. Hunter is great, you know, but Rolly is just a, a different league. He's like that top, top level. You know, he's like the, the first class of bodybuilders. And, and, and Hunter is the second class, second tier. He's knocking on the door of the first tier, but it's going to take him a few more years. As for now, Rolly is definitely going to be the dominant bodybuilder of that show. And yeah, probably, I mean, 99%. Uh, the winner of this show. Even if he's a little bit off, I can see him winning it. And there is this guy, Nick Walker. Where to put him? Which tier is he? I mean, he improved so much from last year. And he did a show. He won the show decisively. Very, very decisively. There was no no doubt that he, he won the show. As soon as he stepped on that stage, everybody saw that he was a clear winner. So we don't know where to put him. Is he a second or first tier? Honestly, guys, I would not be surprised if I saw him winning the Arnold Classic. I'm gonna do a prediction video, and you know what? Unless Rolly shows up some crazy, crazy package, I can actually see Nick winning the Arnold Classic. Yes, 
Just take a look at this guy, how big he is, how conditioned he is at this point, and there is still a lot of time until Iron Classic, and he's getting better with every day. I don't know, I mean, he's super, super focused, he's so confident, he's a part of what Abiyad's podcast, and he actually told him that he doesn't want to do it until the Mr. Olympia and Iron Classic are over, because he wants to be so, so focused. He has that, that crazy level of focus that, uh, it's very rare, it's really rare. Dorian had it, for example. Probably like Jay and Ronnie Coleman and not many other guys. And Nick has it. He has the confidence and he has the work ethic and he has the focus, the crazy, crazy focus and the insane genetics. Sure, you can pick apart his physique and you can see that he's not perfect. Who is perfect? But how many weaknesses does he really have? Not many, not that many. And the rate that he's improving at and the amount of muscle that he has and the conditioning and the details and i mean i can talk about this for days but you guys know what i'm talking about he's really really good and i can definitely see him win the arnold classic i know it's a bold statement i know i know it's not certain we haven't seen him compared to the william bonek and Rolly and the other guys but would it be so crazy to win looking like this no no i can see it I don't know if you guys can see it, you just tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it guys, and subscribe for more bodybuilding content like this. All the best guys and bye bye.